everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Uh, today uh, we have the emergency sleeping bag. Here we are here. Uh, I tend to keep these in my car um, in case I'm stranded in the, on the side of the road or something, uh, you know, in Utah with a snowstorm or whatever, I don't know, breakdown. Um, these are it's a super lightweight. Uh, they weigh approximately, just shy, I think, of six ounces. Um, they go by three feet long, excuse me, three feet wide by seven feet in length. Um, <clears throat> it's got some information here. It's basically, it's like a, it's basically like a massive mylar bag. It's the best way to describe these things. Um, let me open it up here. Now, I got a funny feeling I am not getting it back in this bag. Um, so I hope you guys really appreciate this because um, I, I almost guarantee it's not going back in here without struggle. So anyway, so you get the little bag here. Um, and when I say it's like mylar, uh, it feels a little thinner than some of the mylar bags you may use for food storage. But anyway, these are for emergencies only. These are not to be taken to sort of like camping and things like that. Um, I don't want to open up any further than this, but you can see uh, here. So it's got the bright orange, uh, which is obviously if you're trying to get spotted by somebody, that's great. Uh, basically, this will reflect the heat and, and put it, you know, back in there. You know, with a lot of the, uh, the standard emergency sleeping bags, it's just like one big length of mylar, kind of that material, you know, you put over. But at least with this, you can actually get in it and contain that heat in this bag, which is great. As I say, I keep these in my in my car. Um, yeah, you can even see this. This is where the seams are, where the black material is. So, um, you know, they're reusable. You probably won't get more than a couple of uses out of it because uh, they are intended just solely for uh, for emergencies, as I said. Um, one of the things you need to remember uh, when using these, if you are outside and you're having to lay on the ground and it's freezing, it's cold, you must, must put a layer of, like, I don't know, anything you can put on to get your body off the ground because the cold ground will suck the heat out of you like nothing else. So you want to have at least a couple of inches at least of, you know, twigs, branches, leaves, anything you can basically get your body off that ground um, to, to stop, as I say, getting your body heat sucked out. Um, I, as I say, I keep these in my car so I assume that if, I, if I'm wearing this it will be in my car so I won't have to worry about that issue. Uh, they're about 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, I think they're uh, for emergency purposes and for ten bucks, and you know I think they're just one of those things that you just can't afford enough to buy. Um, you know you could keep wool blankets and stuff in your car, but they're big, they're bulky, uh, it takes a lot of in your car. These are probably fits in that little sack. Um, well, this one used to fit in that little sack. That little sack I don't thought I was going to go in anymore, but um, so that's really about it. Uh, something so simple could save your life. It's quite incredible. Um, but as I say, I would recommend them. Um, I say for, for measly 10 bucks, it's nothing. All right, folks, uh, real quick one today, so that's it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, um, as always, leave them below for me. If I can answer them, I will. If I can't, then sorry about that. And I'll put a link in the description to where I bought these on Amazon. They're about nine bucks and some change. And uh, as always, you know, uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching, everybody. Keep, pre keep preparing.